Welcome everyone, we're here today at Gartner IOCS 2022, and I'm joined by Steve Brown from Deloitte Consulting. Welcome, Steve. Thanks, Charlie. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Brown. I'm a managing director in our AI and data operations practice at Deloitte, and I run our managed services across all of the NVIDIA platforms. Yeah, and, you know, Steve, we've been working together for a while. You know, we, you know, we started on this journey many years ago, you know, and early on in AI, it was very much research. And you know, as we built the DGX platform and built our partnership, you know, we've really seen adoption across all enterprises, you know, all types, you know, whether it's enterprise, government, you know, where are you seeing customers getting started with this? We see our clients mostly starting with cloud-based technologies, but also focusing on areas where we're going to have meaningful business impact. In particular, driving business growth is where we see most of our interest from, from business partners. Um, they're also doing a lot of experiments around different ways to use AI internally as well to drive efficiency and communications with their own staff across their enterprise. That's great, and uh, we had a fabulous roundtable here at the show yesterday, and you know, lots of customers had questions you know, in that getting started phase, and Steve, I think you had some great insights on the type of teams people need to build, because that's a, a big question is, where do I get the people? How do I actually staff a successful project? Yeah, we had a lot of conversations around how do, how do clients build small teams that we call pods. Pods of people that are cross-functional in nature that have both business skills, technology skills, data science skills, infrastructure skills, uh, and that are primarily comprised of full-time people, but also have some part-time people such as cyber and security as a part-time basis. Those small groups of people we use by a two pizza rule. You have to be able to feed them with just two pizzas at lunch, but they also can move very quickly, develop things fast, and understand the business implications because you've got business representation on the team. That's great, and you mentioned pod, and we use that as an infrastructure term as well. It's one of the, the early ways we got DGX infrastructure to our customers, uh, but you know, how do you see customers using infrastructure today? Is it on-premise, is it cloud, is it hybrid? I see most clients starting with the cl in the cloud technologies, meaning it's, it's use as you go, it's consumption-based, it's relatively inexpensive, but as they start to scale AI models, they really start to need on-prem power and on-prem dedicated capacity, and so we see the world being hybrid for forever uh, in, around AI. So more and more interaction between cloud and on-prem, but definitely a hybrid environment. That's great, and you know, I think one of the things that our, our customers are seeing everywhere in the press you know, is natural language processing, big language models, um, you know, and that touches every aspect of the enterprise because every part of the enterprise has to communicate with each other and end users. You know, how do you see customers using that technology and integrating it into their existing business systems? We see natural language as an exploding area of, of, of capability. We see many clients using it for interactions with customers and clients, but also across their enterprise themselves, um, and also to drive, again, revenue growth. Interestingly, natural language has a lot of sort of standard use cases, but we're seeing more specialization being really important in how they leverage natural language within the scope of their industry and the specific functions so that you teach a language model exactly what someone means. No, that's great. Well, Steve, thanks for spending the time with us and sharing your insight with the audience. Have a great rest of the show. Thanks, Charlie.